wasp. wasp. Killed a wasp. wasp. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> it's on my puzzle. Ah! Okay, so you've seen what goes into uh, one of these types of refugee ration boxes. I thought it'd be a really interesting uh, video if uh, I talked a little bit about the calories that I would usually eat on a day-to-day -day basis compared to what I will be eating. Um, I am a science teacher, so it's the kind of stuff I like to talk about anyway, but I will try and rein things in just a little bit. Um, I don't want to bore you too much. So without further ado, here goes, science and nutrition. Too much? Yeah. Everything we eat can be broken down into seven nutrients. Fats, proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, fiber, and some scientists would include water as well. Alas, the cliche, you are what you eat, is true. And it's best that you knew that. You are literally built with and powered by the food that you eat. The energy we get from food is measured in calories. And we usually get these calories from carbohydrates, so things like rice, pasta, bread, and anything sugary and sweet. I kept a record of every single thing I ate in one week, and this is what it looks like. <laughs> you can see just in one week how much I eat. Depending on what country you're in and depending on what source, um, the recommended amount of calories for an adult male is usually around 2,000 to 2,500 calories. I'm averaging out about that generally on a day-by-day -day basis. So what even is a calorie? Um, a calorie is the amount of energy required to increase the temperature of one litre of water by one degree Celsius. That is technically what a calorie is. So if a crisp, for example, had one calorie, I wish crisps only had one calorie, but if this crisp did, then that means that if I were to release all the energy within that crisp, that energy in that crisp would warm up one litre of water by one degree Celsius. That's what a calorie is. So how does warming up water relate to powering a human? Um, the energy that we get from calories, obviously um, it's not just warming us up. We're literally using that energy to, to function, to work to think, to move, to write, to click subscribe to my channel, uh, whatever it is, calories are giving you that energy to do those things. So if I add up all the calories there are in this weekly refugee ration pack and divide it by seven, I end up with a daily caloric intake of 1,129 calories. So essentially I'm halving my caloric intake, which is a little bit terrifying but uh, definitely an experience that I want to have, I want to learn um, about the experiences that other people are having uh, around the world right now as we speak. If the body is receiving fewer calories than usual and it's using more energy than it's taking in, then the body will have to start using its own fat tissues as a source of energy. Needless to say, this can lead to severe weight loss. And with so much at stake, it's critically important that these refugee ration boxes contain the right stuff. The United Nations and the World Food Programme set a lot of guidelines and guidance as to what sorts of foods should be provided to people who are living in crisis areas, whether that's a refugee camp, uh, somewhere that's had a flood, a drought, whatever it is. Um, there was something really interesting in the guidance and it was actually to do with uh, background temperature. So room temperature, you may know, is approximately 20 degrees Celsius. The guidelines say that for every five degrees lower than room temperature, the food provided to someone in those crisis areas needs to be increased by 100 calories per day. This is because it takes a lot of energy for your body to maintain a constant body temperature. So if you're someone living in a very, very cold area, your body is gonna be needing more food to provide the energy to keep your body at the right temperature. It's a sobering thought to think that these calculations need to be made in the first place, but I'm just glad that there are so many people out there doing such amazing work to make sure that people in need get what they need. If you've been moved by what you've seen in the news about the refugee crisis or you enjoyed watching this video and you want to make a donation then please check out the link in the description below that will take you directly to my fundraising page. Um, all funds raised will be going towards a refugee camp in Jordan and your money will help to pay for food but also things like uh, medical uh, equipment and things like that. 
Um, I'm going to be doing this challenge for as long as I can. Uh, and I'm going to be documenting my experiences along the way. So heading your way, there'll be sort of vlog style videos, some recipe videos too, even some poetry, if you'll uh, indulge me. Um, so please, please, please make a donation if you can. Um, otherwise, please like and share this video as much as you can. Um, the more people are having conversations about these sorts of things, I think the better things will be. Uh, thank you very much for watching again, and I will see you next time.